Hi, everyone. My name is Max Emmer of Emmer Law, and I'm thrilled to be here today with a friend and colleague who is kind of a jack of all trades in the financial and legal space. Her name is Nicole Gopoyan Wyrick. And what she is, is she's an attorney, she's a financial advisor, she's a certified financial planner, and she has a master's, she has a master's of law training in the tax space. So anything in the financial or legal world, she knows a lot about a lot. And I thought it would be great to connect and talk about a few different topics today. So Nicole, first off, thank you for coming on and look forward to having a fun few conversations and chats. Good morning, Max. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here with you today and can't wait to get chatting. And Nicole, will you tell us just a little bit about your um, your boutique firm in Michigan and, and just a little bit about your background? Sure, it would be my pleasure. So I founded my firm about four years ago. It's called Prosperity Wealth Strategies, located in downtown Birmingham. And the firm is a boutique registered investment advisory firm that's independent. And we focus on wealth management and financial planning for individuals and families. Awesome. Great. And you've been doing it for a while, not aging you. But Please I don't first, do that, Max. I that first would not wanted, be I know, good. I know. I, I know the rules. The first thing I want to talk about, there's so much interplay between family law and divorce and financial planning. And I know for me, I always bring in, whether it's a certified divorce financial advisor or I'm making a recommendation to a financial advisor for someone exiting a divorce whether it's because they don't have a financial advisor or they have new property that they didn't have before, or honestly, maybe they as a marital couple had one, but they either don't trust, don't like, or don't know that person. So tell us about what is important for someone to know when they're looking for or meeting with a potential new financial advisor. Absolutely. Um, so, and, and Max, I, so admire how you collaborate with experts because that's a cornerstone of my business as well. I think collaboration is so incredibly important, especially as a client is going through a significant change like a divorce. Absolutely. So when when looking for um, a new potential advisor, I would say it's important to talk to a lot of people. And I always encourage clients to take the time up front and really get to know who they might be working with. Because I view this relationship as what is hopefully a multi-decade lifelong uh, relationship that develops and builds over time. But you want to make sure you're aligning yourself with someone who you like, know, and trust and have confidence in moving forward. So step one would be, don't be shy. Talk 100%. to people. I, I say the same thing to my clients. It's it's always, you know, I say in family law, and I think it's similar in your practice. Um, it is a personality hire, and and it is it is a very, um, you know, it's a it's it's, it's so a personal. personal hire. It's it's not a it's not a realtor. It's not a tax attorney. These are people who are handling life cycle events, your money, your future, and I think yes, there is an expectation of professional competency and experience. But that's the baseline. It's more about who am I comfortable with? Who can I have a real heart to heart with? And who do I feel confident is going to give me wise information and advice to make the best decisions for myself and my family? Yeah. So Max, so often I have prospective clients who come into my office and they bring a, a briefcase or a large folder full of documents. And they're very eager to show me those documents. Sure. And I, I, I appreciate that because those documents are very, very important. But what's even more important than diving into those documents is understanding them, taking the 100%. time to un to understand who they are and what makes them tick so that we can see if, if there's a chemistry and a potential fit. And those documents are important and they come in time, but more important is the person. You need the foundation. And yes, you, I go back to this. If it's a fit, we will get to and work out all of the other nuts and bolts. But I think, and I think it sounds like you agree, determining that fit, that rapport, that alignment, and that and that professional chemistry is essential. And then everything else kind of works itself out from there. And, and so, you know, Nicole, I would say, whether it's been professionally, whether it's a client or someone who's consulted with you, or people you know, given your vast legal and financial background, if you were to give a couple people, pieces of advice to people who are either entering the divorce process in the divorce process, or they are now divorced, what would that advice look like for them? 
Absolutely. So the, the first piece of advice would be take a moment, pause, take a deep breath, and let's focus on the future ahead. So I try to create um, an opportunity to approach the future with with excitement as sort of a blank slate or a blank canvas of now we get to rebuild and we develop a plan based on a new goal set. So after a divorce, the situation is often very different. That Completely means- Completely different. Different goals, uh, different resources, different priorities, different values. So taking time up front to sort of reflect on what does the future look like? That's step one. That's so awesome. then once we have our heads kind of wrapped around what our goals are and how they align with our values moving forward, we can then work through what does the what do the resources look like from both the cash flows perspective of looking at inflows versus outflows, setting safe and prudent spending and savings targets, based on those new cash flows to looking at investable assets and resources, depending on the life phase that the client is at to say, then how do we align the investment portfolio with the new goal set? Additionally, new risks Absolutely. in an entirely new financial situation, you're dealing with different risks. So looking at um, if there is a change in home ownership, how do we protect that? How do we make sure that we have appropriate policies in place to mitigate those risks? If we're talking about a disability or a potential premature death, what happens then? Those are all important considerations. And so many times I found that when faced with unpleasant things like dealing with those risks, like addressing them, we humans, we want to dip our heads in the sand like ostriches. Mm -hmm. And I said, <laughs> and it's very normal. It's our human nature to want 100%. to do that. We want to avoid that stuff with, with all costs. We want to avoid the unpleasant things. So through that planning process, through taking a positive approach of, of the, the Blake canvas and rebuilding a plan, we naturally address those things sort of head on. And that helps people pull their heads out of the sand and have confidence that they have a plan in place based on their new facts, sets, and circumstances. Absolutely. And, and, and I think part of your approach that's, you know, is enticing and kind of refreshing is I think so many times in both of our fields, but especially in financial services, everything is very cookie cutter and formulaic. Mm -hmm. And I think you hit the nail on the head when someone especially is coming out of a divorce and their station in life and circumstances are just so starkly different. The status quo doesn't make sense for them most often. And I think working with a multidisciplined professional like you will ensure that the options and resources and opportunities to people, you know, are presented and available to them so they can make the best decisions. And um, for anybody who's interested in consulting with Nicole, she's in Birmingham, Michigan. She has a stunning office. Her information will be available here as well online with Prosperity Wealth Strategies. And we're going to talk about a couple more things, but Nicole, thanks so much for coming on. Thank you, Max. Can't wait to keep chatting.